And welcome back to part two of the modeling, texturing, and rendering of this aerosol spray can. Um, I received a good reception um, from the last video, so that's a that's always good. So now let's go ahead and um, work on this hole right here, and then we'll go ahead and unwrap it. All right, so let's go to our side view, hide this, look at our hole right here, and just kind of see what we can do. We're gonna uh, what I'm gonna probably end up going with is I'm going to model out a separate piece of separate cylinder and then I'm going to use that as a reference to make a cutout of a circle. So watch and learn. So I'm going to bring this to that hole, match it up fairly well, subdivision axes in our channel box and we're going to go up to about 40 to smooth it out and then for our subdivision cap we're going to make that zero. Now we'll just focus in on our piece here. For our scale X, I usually go down to about 0.4. And then just to thin that out a bit. And then select all the faces and then extrude. Side view, thickness, bring that up to where it meets up, 1.3. There you go. So now we're going to use this as our reference to for our to cut out our circle within the top base of the, of the object. So we're going to show that, go to our front view, bring this out, make that a little smaller, we can go to our side view, just have a better angle of it. So we'll bring this to about 0 0.170. And then I'm going to match this up with our reference. So I'm going to line it up as perfectly and as accurately as I can. So I'm going to line up the straight edge of the cylinder with the straight edge of the top piece. So I'm just going to move that a little bit more. That looks pretty good. Okay. Alrighty, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my interactive split tool and I'm going to cut out a circle. Um, I'm going to cut out a circle using this reference. So we're going to use our split interactive, interactive split tool. And then before I do that, let me preface it by saying that when you use the interactive split tool, it does have a tendency to crash the, you know, my, I've had situations before where this tool has crashed the entire program. I don't know why. I'm not sure what Autodesk's um, issue was with that, but I'm sure with the 2013 version, it, they may have fixed it, but that was very common to, um, to happen in 2012. So please delete history and then make sure you save. So let me go ahead and we just save this so we don't have to keep doing it again. So save. Okay. All right. So the next thing, obviously, interactive split tool. Oh, before to my initial point, make sure your magnet tolerance is at uh, 0.1 because it its initial settings are usually at 0.2 or at two, but that won't let you make that round shape because it's always restricted. So, so let me just go in and change that, point 0.1, magnet tolerance, and then perfectly and as accurately as you can, try to shape out this cylinder through the mesh. Okay. It's not going to be perfect, but that's why you go in and fix it yourself. So go to verts, take this vert, merge vertex, merge it with that one, and then you're going to take this vert and match those up. And then same thing, match those up. There you go. Okay, so now you have somewhat of a good circle, but it's not perfect by any means. So let's cut these faces out. And then we're going to select this entire circle right here. Go to vertices. So to do this, hold down Control, right click to vertices. And then average them. 
Now it's going to give you a really funky shape, but for some reason that's just how it is. If you want, you can change the iterations to, let's say, 1, but I don't think it would make much of a difference. So just go ahead and do it um, by eye and just kind of shape it out to a nice circle. And that looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but we can still make changes. So what we could do is we can add in some more edge loops. So we'll add an edge loop right there. And we'll add an edge loop right there. Of course, now these edge loops are in, but we have to connect them to the circle. So that's where our little friend interactive split tool comes in. Press G to repeat each command. That's why you don't have to keep doing, you know, I have to keep doing that. You can just press G to repeat it. And one more. Sometimes this tool is very helpful. Other times it's just a pain in the butt because it, some, it just doesn't want to do anything. It just wants to make your life that much harder. I don't understand, but it does. All right, split polygon tool. There we go. There, yeah, that's better. Okay, so now you have your edge loops in place and now this will give you more options to kind of just take each one of these verts and make and start make it more rounded so let's select all the vertices average them out and then we'll just bring those in and about right there that looks pretty good and if you want you can add in more Select these again, verts, average, bring them down. And you can bring those in just a little bit. But I think we can just take it from there. Okay. So now you have your cutout of the circle. It's a, is it perfectly, perfectly uh, circular? No. But that's where you can go in and just fix and make some changes yourself you know just because I'm, I'm only showing you how to do it but I can't necessarily um, perfect it within the time frame that I have because otherwise this video would just drag on longer than it should so I'm going to now take these edges and I'm gonna create this indent um, extrude right here so we're gonna extrude from these edges go to our side view and then thickness or offset, we'll just bring those. That's not really working. So we'll just bring those in to about point negative 0.025. I'm looking at the translate X right here. So let's do that again. All right. Now the next thing, obviously, is do another extrude, but the, only select the edges. Do not select, do not extrude from these faces. Select the edges. Extrude, side view, and then thickness, for some reason, does a really crappy job when it just doesn't do a very pleasant job. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it from this little gizmo right here. So do it from the gizmo and just scale that unilaterally. And all right. There you go. So we can go a little bit more. About, let's make these 0 0.090. There we go. Okay, so now we've created our hole. We've created our circular edge. Now we just have to go in, take these edges right here, and then do one more extrude. And just add in some edge loops. So that looks pretty good. And then for this, I don't know if this is going to work. There we go. Because last time I tried doing that, it didn't bevel the edge properly. So 0.3. 
that looks pretty good. And if you want, you can add in another edge loop, another segment, just to kind of maintain its structure. And that looks pretty good. So now we have ourselves a hole, so to speak. Very nice. Is it perfectly perfectly circular around this area? Not really. So my best advice I could possibly give you is just keep on editing edge loops right around this edge. And you can get it as perfectly straight as possible, as circular as possible, and then so on and so forth. Let's see. From our side view here, it looks like we are indented a little bit to inward. So let me just go from my side view, oops, front view, and then just kind of look at it. Let me just turn these off. Delete history. Let's hope this doesn't crash on me. And then for this, let's just try to bring that in. Select these instead of those. There we go. See if that did anything. That looks a little better. Might have missed a few. Yep. Might have missed a few of these. So let me just kind of select these individually. Okay. I think that's most of them. Okay. S front view. And then I'm just going to try to straighten these out of it. And that looks good enough. Okay. So that is it for the cutout of the circle. Um, I'm going to probably stop it right here and then the next video will go right into the unwrap. So hopefully this helped. And if any questions or concern, let them be known in the comments section of either Vimeo or YouTube. Otherwise, enjoy, and we will see you in the next one.